Hey guys, so if you are new to my channel, um, what I do is once a month I get, I go through my entire makeup collection and I pull out all the things that are going to be expiring in a month. I put them in a bag, I keep them separate, and I try to incorporate them into my makeup routine and use them um, more repeatedly during that time. So I'm going to show you everything that's going to be expiring in October. And I'm going to tell you which things I think I would purchase again, given the opportunity or the chance. Um, some things are limited edition, so I wouldn't be able to repurchase them. But let's just get through it because there's a lot. And I'm going to have to try to talk fast and um, faster, I should say. And... Um, not dwell on any one thing for very long. Let's start with what I have on right now. This is the Wet n Wild Scooby-Doo Lip Mask. This was a limited edition collection. I'm going to be using this for the next month as my lip treatment product instead of using it as a lip mask, which you would normally put on at night. Um, I'm just going to moisturize my lips with this because I really like this. It smells good. It tastes good. And, um, yeah, so that's the first thing. And then for a face primer, I've already been using the LA Colors face primer for the last month. I've been using this every day, so I'm going to just continue to use this. It's a small container, but, yeah, you don't really need much, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this up in a month. Probably not, but I will do my best. And it's, it's good, and it's very inexpensive, so the price is right. This I put on for the first time today in a long time. This is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation in the shade Natural. Um, this is a good foundation. And I chose this one out of what is going to be tossed in October because of the color, because it's the end of summer. So I can't go too, too light at this point because I have a little bit of a tan. So, uh, yeah, this is actually quite good. I got that at Dollar General. No, Family Dollar. Family Dollar carries this, yeah. So that's that was a good foundation. And I just remembered I did want to mention that people might be thinking, well, how do you know what's bad? I keep a notebook. This is a loose leaf notebook and every page inside here is a different category. And when I buy things, I write it on the next available line and put the date next to it. And that way I know exactly when I bought things and I can figure out from there when it's going to expire. Creams, gels, and liquids exp expire in one year. Powders is supposed to be two years, but you can really push it a little bit longer than that with powders. I feel like... Um, you know, the two years is probably mm, a little too strict. Uh, but creams, gels, and liquids I don't mess around with because they do develop bacteria quite easily. So that's how I know when things are going to be um, expiring. All right, next thing that is on my face that's going to be leaving in the month of October is the e.l.f. Monochromatic monochromatic multi-stick in dazzling peony. These are so underrated, you guys. I never hear anybody talk about them. And what's great about them is you can use them on your eyes, lips, or face. And this is definitely my favorite color in the bunch. This is what I have on today for a blush. And it just gives you like a really nice natural flush of color. They blend really easily. Um, yeah, I would definitely repurchase that. I really, really like that. And this is not the first one that I've had. I think that's the second time I bought that. What I have on for a highlight today, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. And what shade is this? 901. I believe this is the lightest shade in the line. This is my highlighter, and this is really pretty. Now, I know a lot of people use this. They mix it in with their foundation, but I don't like like a glowy, glittery foundation, or shimmery, I should say. I just like to use my highlighters as highlighters. 
Um, so this is really pretty and I did really enjoy having that. Okay, on my brows, this is probably my favorite brow pencil of all time that I've ever used. The formula is great, the application is great, and the color is so natural to what my brows really look like. Uh, this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Cool Ash Brown. So I would definitely repurchase this, and I think I probably will um, because it's so quick and easy and you don't really have to fuss with it. So I really, really like that. Now on my lips today, I did a very unusual combo, and all three of these products will be expiring in October. This is the LA Colors Auto Lip Liner in the shade Mauve. It's a warm mauve. This I don't care for, so... I think it was part of a limited edition collection anyway, so I wouldn't be able to repurchase it, but I wouldn't anyway just because it's a bit too dry for my taste. Although LA Colors does make some really great lip liners that you can buy from their permanent line at Walmart, but no, this one wasn't really good. But it went pretty well with the lipstick that I wanted to use that's going to be expiring. This is Revlon Rum Raisin. This is a cream finish, and it's 535, and this is a great fall lipstick. So I probably will wear this again between now and October. And that's what I have on my lips. And then I don't normally mix tones, but I put a cool toned lip gloss over that lipstick. LA Colors Holographic Iridescent Lip Gloss in Sugared is a cool pink. And I like the end result. I think that it looks pretty and um, so this is a gorgeous lip gloss and I ooh, I might I might repurchase this. I got this at Family Dollar. But yeah, this is really really pretty. All right, so those are the things I have on my face that will be expiring in October. Now let's move on to the things on the table next to me. Oh my god, there's a lot. So foundations. All three of these foundations are great, but they're too light for me to wear right now. Like I said, it's the end of summer. I have like a light tan. It shows better. There's, there's the difference right there. Natural color, summer color, you know? So Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Rose Ivory. Great formula. Perfect color match when it's not the end of summer. L'Oreal True Match C2. Great foundation. Too light for me right now. And Koki Full Cover Foundation in 10C. Same thing. Great foundation, but this is really, really light. Almost too light for me. But those are all good. And then for blush, I am really going to miss the blushes from last year's Scooby-Doo collection by Wet n Wild. Talk to the Paw is Purple. I used this a ton. And kudos to Wet n Wild. For this unique component that you screw and unscrew and then you stamp this on your face and blend it and it gives you the perfect amount of um, blush. I've been wearing this a lot over the last year so I am going to definitely miss that. I have the coral one too but or orange but I'm not really into orange blush. Especially if it was more like a peach I would have probably worn it more, but it's straight up orange, so yeah, not my style. Okay, uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Vitamin E Makeup Stick Blush in the shade Dusty Pink. This is really pretty. It gives you a nice, like, glowy blush, and the color is great. Definitely would repurchase that. Profusion Blush Hour in the shade Rose. I don't think I was that crazy about this. Mm, don't remember using it that much. Really pretty color, though. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember, like, being wild about it, so probably wouldn't repurchase that. Let's talk. Let's talk mascaras. I have three mascaras here. Um, e.l.f. Volumizing Mascara did not like this. This is definitely not for me. 
Now, the other two are maybe my two favorite mascaras of all time, and I will definitely be repurchasing these. Uh, the Lottie London Super Fake, which uh, a lot of CVSs have permanent displays now of Lottie London, um, and they have Lottie London at select Walmarts. And then Wet n Wild So Defined. This is a fairly new mascara for them, and it's phenomenal. Both of these are can't-go-wrong mascaras. I will definitely get those again. All right. Um, eyeshadows. When it comes to eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow sticks, the e.l.f. ones are really good. This one is Perfect Pearl. You can also use this on your face, and it's just a, like a shimmery gold color. It's very pretty. like that a lot. Would definitely repurchase. This is Bombshell. It's a warm pink. And I like this, but it isn't like one of my favorite shades, but um, it, it is very nice. I have a Jeffree Star Liquid Star Shadow. Like the formula, but I hate the color. But I got this in a mystery box, so I had no control over what color I was going to be set, sent. This is Manifest. It's a really ugly orange color. Um, so wouldn't repurchase that just because of the color. This is a Profusion Liquid Shadow in the shade Hologram. And this did not apply well. However, have not tried that yet with my Revlon Jelly applicator. And uh, so I don't know because, you know, I had a hard candy liquid shadow that didn't apply well either. And then I used my Revlon Jelly applicator and it went on like a dream. So if I can ever get this to heal, um, I will try this again with the Revlon applicator and see how it goes because really uh, some liquid eyeshadows just don't go on that well unless you do it a certain way or use the right tool so I have to see about that actually. I have another NYX brow pencil but this color didn't work for me. This is uh, ash blonde. I thought that would be perfect but no the cool ash brown one is the one the right one for me. Um, okay, I've got some, well, actually, let's talk about this. Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeshadow Primer. This is fine, but I the skin on my eye area is quite dry, so I don't use eyeshadow primers normally because um, they tend to be drying and irritating, so I don't use eyeshadow primer normally, so I, there's no need to repurchase that. Once in a while, though, it's good to have one for certain kinds of products that you think are going to move or crease, and, you know, if you know that you have a product like that, then you do need to put something underneath it, usually. All right, I have some concealers here, and they are all too light for me at the moment, but they're all very good formulas. LA Pro Conceal, what color is this? Oh, actually, this is a corrector. Gosh, I haven't used this in such a long time. I don't really remember um, what I think. I think this is a very good corrector, but my NYX one is so awesome that um, that's why I think I stopped using this because the NYX one is phenomenal the NYX Pro Fix Stick Corrector. And then I started using the Catrice one, which is also very good. But yeah, I haven't used this in so long, but I remember this being my favorite at one time. And then for concealers, just straight up concealers, the Wet n Wild Incognito is very good, but too light for me right now. The Koki Be Bright is very good, too light, and LA Colors Conceal It. Same situation. So those are too light for me right now. Um, let's talk setting sprays. This is the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. I do not like this. I really prefer the um, original formula. The original formula is more of a 
isn't a setting spray so much as it is a freshen up your makeup thing if your makeup is too powdery. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't like this. Uh, the LA Colors setting spray, it's okay, but I wouldn't repurchase it. My favorite setting spray right now, in case you're curious, is the L'Oreal one. It smells like hairspray and you feel like you're spraying hairspray on your face, but it looks makes your makeup look nice and it makes it stay in place if you're going to be in a hot, humid situation. Okay, let's talk about eyeliners. Have you ever tried cake eyeliner? I bought one by LA Girl, hated it. I've heard there's a learning curve with cake liners that you get to use just the right amount of water and too much work for me. I don't want to have to have a learning curve with something. Either it works for me or it doesn't. All these eyeliners are going to be expiring in October. The only one that I think I would repurchase, or the only ones that I would repurchase, if you need a black pencil liner, the NYX retractable eyeliner in black is very good. That I would repurchase. And then for a liquid liner, the LA Colors eye marker in black that they sell at Dollar Tree is maybe the best liquid eyeliner that I've ever used, so I would repurchase that. The rest of these I would not, not that I didn't like them, but because I don't put water, um, eyeliner on my waterline anymore. And I don't feel the need to buy liquid liners that are a color rather than black anymore because I just don't use them that often, you know. This is like a once in a great while thing. And um, it just seems like a waste of money because... Um, yeah, it's supposed to be really bad to put eyeliner on your waterline because it blocks the tear ducts and um, really you can cause damage to your eye. So I don't do that anymore. And when you put it underneath the lash line, I don't know, I don't think it looks that great. I would much rather use an eye shadow for that purpose. I think it looks nice if you connect it to whatever you're using like in the crease or the outer corner. So, yeah, that was a, a lesson learned there. All right, I had everything on a table next to me, and it all started to roll off the table. So let's do the lip products quickly, because there's a ton of them. Okay, um, I love Essence, but I did not like their liquid lipsticks. These 8-hour matte liquid lipsticks, don't like that formula. Wouldn't buy those again. Now... This is going to be a controversial thing. The Maybelline Vinyl Inks, a lot of people love these. They do look beautiful, but the problem is they don't really, like, set completely. So they transfer like crazy, and they kind of will, you know, you got to make sure you don't touch your face or anything. I don't know. A lot of people like them because they're not drying, but uh, no, I don't think I would purchase any more of those. Um, Jeffree Star lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. I have a bunch of them because I got mystery boxes from him, so I didn't have any control over the colors that I got, but I've got a ton of the liquid lipsticks and I've got a couple of the bullet lipsticks. His lip products are phenomenal. Uh, some of the best formulas I've ever used, but um, yeah, it's his makeup is expensive, so you know I'm trying not to spend so much money on makeup now. So I doubt I'll be ordering any more mystery boxes from him because it, it's a big hit on your budget when you do that. But yeah, if you've got the money to spend, you cannot go wrong with his lip products. They are fantastic. Okay, I've got a couple of um, of these stick type lipsticks from uh, the Scooby Doo Wet n Wild collection. I was really surprised that I liked these as much as I did. The colors are really pretty on, and the formula is quite nice. Okay, um, 
This is an LA Colors Lip Duo from Dollar Tree. It's a lipstick on one end, a lip gloss on the other. I've talked about these many times before. These are so nice, you guys. They're only $1.25, and it's really convenient to have the matching lip gloss to the lipstick, so I will miss that. Um, I have some LA Girl lip glosses. These are all from Limited Edition Collections, but the LA Girl lip glosses are beautiful, so I would definitely recommend those. And then um, I bought a Peri Para lip kit, the liquid lipstick and the liner on Amazon, and I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it's number 17 is the color, so those are going to have to go, but I really did like those. I have a Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick and 657 Nude Nuance. These lipsticks are such a great formula. Um, they've been around a long time, but they are so good. I hope they never discontinue them. And then I have a LA Colors Matte Lipstick in the shade, let's see, what is this? Tender. This is a this is a nice lipstick and very inexpensive. This is from Family Dollar. Yeah, it's a nice lipstick. And then I have a couple of Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is Cherry Frost. This is 98 cents. And it's a really nice red lipstick. Um, I don't think, yeah, these, these have been discontinued, the Silk Finish lipsticks, which is too bad because it was good formula for less than a dollar. And then this is also a Wet n Wild lipstick. It's called Skinny Dipping. I remember not being that crazy about this for some reason. I don't know if it was the color or the formula. Not sure. Should they're trying to do a Pat McGrath there with the little lips, but so no, I wasn't that crazy about that. All right, so that's everything that's going in October, and very, very few things will be repurchased. Very few. So thanks for watching and subscribing, and you know what to do if you like this video. Bye.